All right, guys, it's Stokecraft, and welcome to a replay cast of the Matilda, the tier 4 British medium tank. And guys, I was having an, having an absolute awful day on World of Tanks. I was losing every battle that I did. I was baking, making bad shots, bad mistakes. Everything was going wrong on that day, but at a certain point, a very good game appeared in my Matilda. And I was just looking at my gar garage and I told myself, why don't I have a mastery badge in the Matilda yet? And I thought by myself, you need to have a really good battle with really noob enemy and of course ally teams, otherwise you can't carry because you need to carry massively enemy is hit. to get a mastery badge in the Matilda. Enemy armor is hit. And that, that's exactly enemy what happened in this battle. You can see I'm trying to unload on that T50. Early damage is something you really have to think about because early damage makes the that tank more weak in the during of the battle. So that's why early damage always is really handy to have or to make. There's an M3 Lee, Yoel ring across. Don't know what he's doing. Enemy armor is damaged. But he's not running along any longer. But guys, as you can see, the Matilda has a great gun with great rate of fire. And the great, yeah, damage is not really good, actually. The alpha damage is not really good, but the DPM is awesome. Absolutely awesome. As you can see, this tank is also not really fast for a medium tank. And it's because of the armor. The Matilda has got great armor for its tier. And I think that the Matilda is totally overpowered compared to the other tier 4 tanks. Enemy armor is hit. Penetration. I think that England is the best nation. If, yeah, it's, it absolutely is my favorite nation. That one didn't go through. And I'm searching there for shots on the third of the Matilda. Because this gun has got an alpha of Enemy 50 armor is and a penetration of 121 with normal AP ammo and it is absolutely sick here let me quickly show it for you guys 21 as you can see this is the perfect matchup for the Matilda and the perfect damage perfect place because relocating is not an option for the Matilda you really have to find the right place to stay during the battle because you can't really relocate as you can see but this is the perfect perfect place to be now it's very hard for the enemy to penetrate me and I can penetrate everything right that's shot. standing back there so it's not a big of a worry for me as you can see I'm aiming for the weak spots on that guy enemy is hit. he can't even pen me there so I don't even gonna bother and that Matilda has the howard sir mounted on him which has really poor accuracy and long aim time. So he won't be able to do anything to me. But we are down three tanks right now. But I am still loading and already on 1000 damage. And I really love the Matilda. I love really good armored tanks. Which have a good gun to defend themselves. Enemy armor is damaged. That one bounced. As you can see the Matilda has a really strong gun magnet and I'm making a mistake here by shooting at it. I lose all, uh, all my health which I don't have to do, lose actually. But I keep going, 1200 damage already and it's now 10-10, we made a great comeback. T28, won't be running around any longer. And the enemy Matilda with the stock turret. And that most of the time means that he also has the stock gun. Penetration. And I start unloading on him. We've damaged them. Enemy armor is hit. What I was thinking, right, let's get all these enemies down. And then I want to know where the Lost Matilda and the M3 Lee are located. Because the M3 Lee is last spotted on the other side of the map. Enemy hit. So I was thinking that he was going back towards his spawn point to defend himself. But we first have to kill the Matilda. Unfortunately, the Matilda gets the kill there. As you can see, this team is not very experienced. 
but I'm still going for it. And that Matilda got taken out. And now I know where the other Matilda is. And the Hatcher is in big problems because a Matilda is really strong and a Hatcher doesn't stay the chance against him. So what I'm thinking, take out the Matilda, find the Emperor Lee and take him out as well. So that was my plan. But I didn't know what the Emperor Lee was. That was pretty dangerous actually. But I knew that I had to kill him. But there's the Emperor Lee. On my left side of the map. He drove all the way around. And that's really smart of that guy. He's trying to flank my team. But I don't want him to flank anyone. So I'm trying to engage him. And take him out. And as you can see the Matilda killed two of my teammates. Really quickly. So I keep driving forward. To make it hard for him to aim at my weak spots. And I'm just... Keep shooting. That's what the Matilda is all about. Relocating is hard though, but as you can see, this tank is really awesome. So I'm together with the Panzer 4D, shouldn't be really hard. We found the Matilda, so we at least know where he is. Aiming, clutch shot, misses, does not matter. Bam. And it's over for him. So, 1700 damage, really good result. Alright guys, so that in fact was my mastery badge in the Matilda and I was really pumped to pick that up. As you can see I got a high caliber medal, confederate, and I managed to finish on top of my team, of course, because I did 1700 damage. So, great result in the Matilda. Let's head over to the next replay. Speaking about Ace Tanker games, look at this one. In this battle, I'm playing the KV-1 and I'm platooned up with one of my friends called Caspergun99. And we are driving on Winterstorm. And my plan was to go into the city and side scrape it around the buildings. Kill everything I see and push through the city. Caspergun is in his Panzer SFL 4C which has a very good gun. Very nice penetration but has absolutely no armor. I have armor and a pretty okay gun, so that's why I like the KV-1 so much. And I was pretty sad that I didn't have the mastery badge in the KV-1, because one, it's one of my favorite tanks to drive. But it is really hard to get mastery badge in this tank, because yeah, a lot of people play this thing, and it's pretty overpowered, so I can understand why this is such a hard tank to drive but it went out fine as you can see I'm going to side scrape on this wall here to see if there's any enemy tanks coming from the right corner over there and I shoot the way the house to make a clear look at the enemy who will, who I expect to come from that corner. Nothing happening yet and I'm looking around a bit for, to look for opportunities. There's a VKP, which is a very well armored German tier 6 medium tank. And I think that there's nobody going, yeah, going to come from the right corner, so I am pushing along. VKP is just standing there and I'm trying and I can't see his tracks so now I'm trying to shoot his tracks off because I know he's taking fire from the from my back so my teammate is supporting me so now I know I can try some weak spots as well he can't hit me so let's try some weak spots and I found a weak spot so now it's time to unload on him and I think I retract him as well Oh no, I didn't. Does not matter. Another shot into him. He's just standing there. Like no. Another one in. And he got taken out. Now there's one T3485 there. Also tier 6. Side scraping. 
hoping that he will poke around the corner so I can put another shot into him. As you can see now, I'm alone on this flank. Only a Pencil 4H is behind me, is covering me up. But I don't have a lot of faith into him. Now I'm trying the same weak spot as I did with the VKP. But he's really well angled, so I'm not really going to do anything. Oh! Found a weak spot as well. Into the tracks. Well, he's still standing there. 800 damage so far. I'm waiting for him to poke again. But I'm looking at the map and I can see there's an 88 behind me, so I'm rushing forward to not make him shoot my butt any longer. I quickly kill this guy, get around the corner to avoid the fire from the 88. He bounces. He has a stock gun. I couldn't see that already. And it's 1310, so we did fine. And now I'm trying to engage the 88. I know that he has the stock gun. And I know that he has a really big weak spot on top of the tank. As you could see there, it's a huge component on top of the tank. And I know that close engagements is the really big weakness of the 88. Because the enemy can really shoot close at your weak spots. And my team is saying that I should go. But why should I go? I have it on the control. So I don't have to go. I can engage him myself. I don't need to go at all. I have it on the control. And he's shooting and shooting me. And after this battle, I was looking at his stats. And it meant to be that he did his first game in an 88. <laughs> this was his first tier 6 battle. I totally nailed him, which we're going to see right now. There you go, great result in the KV-1. And as you can see, another mastery match in the KV-1, and I am really happy to collect that, because it can be really hard to collect a mastery badge in a very often played tank. And as you can see, I again got high caliber and I got wall of steel because of the 88 who kept shooting at my tracks. But guys, this was the episode. I hope you liked it. Let me know if you want me to make more of these sort of review preview videos. And I will see you next time.